I love Lex. That's so. awesome. He's like your default work Slack responder, right? Yes, yes, yeah. And I, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Lex. So I've got some prompts that I use on a general day to day, but open web UI, right? If we go in here and like, mm -hmm. I've got hundreds of models, but like if I interact with Lex and I say, uh, I need to see open ports on a Mac, the TCP, and I send a response watch, it'll break as I'm doing it live. But it already but, knows that you're looking for a specific command on a Mac and that's that one liner. Yeah, that's perfect. Right, I just click a coffee. Yeah. No, this is actually great because, like, you know, like OpenAI and Grok change models. I noticed Grok, for example, got more verbose lately. Yeah, yeah, it just keeps going. It's like, shut up. Like, some people think that's valuable. Right. But for me, it's like, I just want the answer because, like, I don't need the six page explanation for what this one line means. I actually don't care what this one line means. I just need the line. There's a bunch of prompt libraries that are crap. So I ended up writing my own and just throwing them in a file with Markdown. Mm -hmm. And I use them as a reference. But I, I generated, I think, most of them, the base with Grok, and then I modify them, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm generating prompts with AI and modifying them with AI. And then I, I change some of it too, like I set the, the mission, mm -hmm. right? And they say, rework this prompt to meet this mission. And then mm -hmm. I'll iterate on it two or three times, like if for Misty or like Gemma, you know, the a Japanese teacher and that type of stuff. But I, I am a huge fan of these sort of things. And uh, this open web UI, I've got local models on here that run on the local compute. And then I've got external models that, uh, like I've got Google, Mistral, Grok, Anthropic. I've got all this stuff. In Evolve there. that. Are you sharing this through Mac Mini on the local network or you just install it for your kids on their laptops separate? No, no, this is a local network thing. So this is actually running in my RKE2 cluster. So like you saw, there's a message down there saying there's an update. 